Yeah. Y'all see what happened earlier? My mask got that dug. Yeah. I got that dug too, because you know how I put bread on. I had that parlay from the Timberwolves the other day, and then the Mavs was in the same parlay, and they won the night. Got me paid right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it, man. I've been hooked on this career mode lately. Um, I was trying to play 18, but some ain't right with that game, so I deleted the fuck out of that. <laughs> Uninstalled, and I'm about to sell the physical copy because, I don't know, they was doing some bullshit. So we back on this live 19. Says update right now. Oh, man. Come on, bro. Don't do me like that. Come on, come on, log in. Don't tell me I'm going to have to close out and restart. It's usually happen when you leave the game on and you and a uh, PS5 go to sleep. Cause I was watching the game. Okay, we good, we good. Let's get it. Career mode. Got my Kawhi Leonard build, wing defender. Yeah, like I was saying, man, my Mavs got that dub. Closed the um, we closed them out in six. I'm gonna tell you why this NBA should be real, right? Mavs in five been trending on Twitter since the um, the series started, right? So the Mavs could have closed them out the other game, but the shit be so rigged, it's like. Nah, you know, Mavs and Five been trending on Twitter. We ain't gonna make it so obvious. So, so they they let them come back that other game, the the game where Luca missed them free throws. Like, come on, bro. Like, we could have been one this series, and I was hoping we won't go into seven, because ain't no telling what would have happened if we would have had to go back to the Thunder. Like, we could beat them on the road, but just with this NBA shit being so real, you never know what's gonna happen. And I lost a couple parlay. I'm going to tell you how this shit was rigged in another way. I won the parlay where they won the game, but I lost the parlay where I had everything right but Luka getting 30. This nigga get 29 and stops at 29. He ain't want to score no more. I'm thinking, all right, at the end of the game, they going to send him to the free throw line. So, you know, ain't none of that shit happen. They had P.J. Washington at the end of the game at the free throw line. So I got everything else right. I had Derek Lively, you know, the rookie. I had him scoring more than 8.5 points. He got about, I forgot how much he got, maybe 12 or something like that, maybe more. I had, hold on, let me go to my app. Let's see what I had. Because I had everything right except for Luca getting 30, bro. How you stop at 29, bro? That was more money for me. Damn. They be hating. I was like, man, they better not lose the game and mess up my other parlay where Luka don't get 30. It, it looked like that shit was about to happen. One thing these bet naps going to do. Oh, shit, I just won the other bet. I, ain't, I just lost. I forgot I bet. Who, who won? Oh, Phoenix did win the WNBA. 
I put bread on Phoenix Mercury versus uh, Atlanta Dream. Yeah, but um, the NBA parlay I had earlier, bro, they they shitted me, bro. All right, one parlay I had, both teams, total points over 99.5. I got that right. Derek Lively second, alternate points over 8.5. I got that right. What else? Luca over 2.5 threes made, which means you can't just be stuck at two threes. He got to get three three-pointers. When it, when it be like .5, you got to get to the next number. And then I had Kyrie scoring 18 plus. And he did that in the second half. At first, it was looking shaky. I'm like, man, Kyrie about to mess my parlay up. But it ended up being Luca messing my damn parlay up. Because Kyrie got, uh, he went off in like the fourth. But yeah, for the Luca, I had two parlays with Luca. One of them was he had to get more than 29.5, and one of them he had to get more than 30.5. Both of them, they got me. They always do that shit, bro. Like, I'd have had another parlay like that before where. The player just stopped scoring. Like, come on, bro. It's a player that you know this score. I forgot who it was. Let's get to this my career, though. I've been – I'm surprised I ain't lost no game yet. Probably because I'm on the Bucks. Bro, look at the screenshot. They was ahead of their time, bro. It ain't just like a tweet. They got the picture with the tweet and the number of likes. Look at that shit, bro. Ahead of their time, bro. And then what 2K do? Now they want to put shit on their phone. Oh, you got your, your social media on your phone. But it don't look like this. You don't see the likes, I don't think. You see, like, random people tweeting you when you lose a game or some shit or if you do good. But you don't see the, the actual photo like this. They got the likes. They got the number of comments. Come on, bro. And it's an official tweet from the NBA. Come on, bro. They was ahead of, bro, this game came out 2018. Ahead of their time. Let's get to the game. I'm still mad about them other parlays, though. I did, I did win this WNBA parlay, though. Shout out to the Phoenix Mercury. They got me right. Shout out to Brian Norman Jr. It was a boxing bet. I don't even know who that is. But I parlayed it with the Phoenix Mercury. I'm going to definitely bet on something tomorrow. We got, what, two game sevens tomorrow? Shit about to get wicked. At first, I thought it was going to be three game sevens. I'm like, man, you know that's some bullshit if it's three game sevens, bro. Because that means... Cause that's what's that? Uh, you know how people be into like zodiacs and them numbers and shit. They be like seven, seven, seven. They got like some special meaning. I'm like, yo, if it's three game sevens, like this shit. Come on, bro. Can't make that up. Can't make it up. But yeah, we we close them out in six. So it's only two game sevens tomorrow. Uh, Knicks. Pacers and uh, hopefully the Timberwolves can close out the Nuggets because my Mavs we're gonna have a we're gonna have a hard time with both teams but I feel like we got a better chance with the Timberwolves than playing the Nuggets to defend the defending champs. You know what I'm NBA action on EA Sports. I'm at Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. What other games tomorrow? I need the best one. Good Downtown Milwaukee. I'm going to start betting on a lot more at that WMEA game. Because you can kind of tell who going to win. Like, oh. like that one game. I got that right earlier. Oh, that was, that messed me up earlier, too. Tyson Fury, bitch ass. I had the Chicago Sky, right? They played the Dallas Wings. I think um, I bet on that because that's where Angel Reese got drafted, too. And like you can tell which team she going to beat. 
I'm not betting with Caitlin Clark at the moment. She's been getting her ass with MVP. Um, but yeah, I, I parlayed that with Tyson Fury and Angel Reese and them. And Angel Reese and them won, but Tyson Fury, bitch ass, lost. He messed that parlay up. Had some good money coming to Some told me to bet with the other dude, but I, I wasn't familiar with him. So I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking, yeah, Tyson Fury beat Buddy. What's uh, I don't got his name. To this day! Uh, yeah, that nigga. I'm like, yeah, Tyson about to beat this dude. But some told me to bet with the dude. Just because of the odds and, you know, how to parlay and be like negative 100 plus 100 for the other person. Shit like that. And it had a little boost where you got a little extra percent draft pick. To Tobias Harris. And they still got it. That shit ended quick, too. I'm like, damn, did he get knocked out? I had to go back and look at the highlights. The Sixers with four to shoot. Simmons taken down by Giannis. I think the ref stopped him from getting knocked out. But buddy was welling on him. Oh, yeah, pull that. No, that's bless him. Damn, and beat you. Prime, bitch. Oh, that's crazy. I knew that was good. That animation used to go. I know, Josh Richardson. I ain't seen that name. Is he still on the heat? I remember he was playing for us. He was playing for the Mavericks at one point. I don't know where he Did we trade him? Let's we'll see what we got tomorrow. That's called a grown WNBA. Someone's trying to get featured on Sports Center tonight. That's out of bounds. Seattle Storm and Washington Mystics. I'm pretty sure there's more games on than that. I don't know. It might not be since it's uh two game sevens for the NBA tomorrow. To Richardson. Or they just might not be showing all the games that I could bet on right now. And the he took a chance. That's Let me right see. Goal. I'm probably going to bet with this. I ain't going to even say it. I said it tomorrow. <laughs> I said tomorrow when the bet's already in. Simmons to Richardson. Doesn't have the touch. No good. Bledsoe with the basketball. Leads a bucket. I did a Kumbo. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to pull off with the Bro. defender all over you. That's out of bounds. Last touch by a sixer. Time to shuffle things up. Blood soak. Throws it up. Throws oh, yeah, that's all day. I'm trying to get in on some baseball parlays, but your pass is just a I do not watch baseball to know who to bet with. I be betting off like blind faith with that shit. Usually, if I bet on baseball, the team already up. Like, it'd be a late bet. I don't ever bet when it's 0-0 zero, zero, or before the game starts. I bet when halfway through some innings and <clears throat> let me see who play baseball tomorrow. What today? The Red Sox versus the Cardinals. See, I wouldn't even know who to bet with. Both of them say negative 100. Usually when one say like negative 300, like this White Sox versus Yankees. Negative 300 for the Yankees, which means they either the better team or everybody know they're going to win or, you know what I'm saying, 
or it's guaranteed they're going to win sometimes. It ain't always like that. At Chicago White Sox say plus 250. That means they the sorrier team or either they not at home or something like that. But then again, it's sports, so you you could never predict it. Goes two for two. Philadelphia with the basketball. Brunson. So Horford takes stock of the floor. From the painted area, won't go down. It's always some help. Grayson Allen to Richardson. Now a steal by Milwaukee. Here comes the screen. Lobs it up. Oh, God. That was a oop. Excuse me. That was a oop, by the way. Sixers control. <clears throat> Brunson to Richardson. Yeah, he finished the dunk. Didn't miss the shot. Stupid shit. He should have just dunked it. Slams it down. Now the Bucks gonna signal for a timeout as they'll talk things over in what's now a four-point game. I don't know who to bet with in baseball. We got the Orioles playing the Mariners. I'd have bet with the Mariners a couple times and they'd have won. But then again, the Orioles, I think they got a good squad. See, I don't know baseball, so this shit kind of tough. But Coaches dipping into their reserves. Y'all, son, y'all. Eight to four, bro. I did a Kunbo. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three point play. He should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The refs bit, and that's the game. Adetokounmpo at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 74% free throw shooter. Free throw. Good for Giannis. It's a three-point play as the Bucks add to their lead. Sixers have the basketball. Here comes the screen. Brunson. Shot clock for Philadelphia. Horford, his first effort off the mark. Hill across the timeline. They can go two for one if they hurry. Ideta Kunbo to Hill. The Bucks with four to shoot. Giannis Ideta Kunbo. That's no good. Yeah, somebody got all of them shit. 17 footer at the buzzer. It's good to beat the buzzer. He got it off just in time. So count the basket, and they're back within striking distance at the end of the first quarter.
first quarter complete on to the second period. A little bit of a feeling out process so far. I know you're wondering why I'm clock. Both teams came out in the first quarter and they executed. When do you ever see that, Ed? You have to continue to bring those competitive juices into the second quarter. We're going to have one heck of a ball. Game. Greek Freak for two. Doesn't get the bounce. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. Couldn't keep it in. Out off Tobias Harris. Bucks at the controls. To George Hill. Here comes the screen. George Hill. Five on the shot clock for Milwaukee. Identa Kunbo. Can't connect. Al Horford pins it. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Sixers finally break through. 52 wins last year. But Jay, where do they factor that's in the end? I know that's the best bullshit. I know that's the I still see this team finishing on the outside looking in. What I mean by outside is the two or three spot. I think this is Boston's division to lose. Boston's conference to lose. But still, the question mark still is around Ben Simmons and his ability to shoot the ball down the stretch. Here comes the screen. Hill to Adeta Kumbo. It's my only baseball bet. I ain't doing everything else but that. Three for six now. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is. I need my Mavericks to win the championship. I'm going to definitely hit a lick. Like, that parlay about to hit so crazy. I got a couple parlay. If the Nuggets win the championship, if the, whoever go in the West win it, so. Simmons knocks it down from mid range. The Nuggets Timberwolves or the Mavericks. I got a couple parlays. I know that bitch is here. Easy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere. I'm gonna be, uh, I might be out the country somewhere. Stuffs it down with authority. Woo! This rookie is a high flyer. He brings that kind of pro am vibe to the NBA, and it's fun to watch. Simmons driving, but a shot no good. And one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed. Good job by utilizing that speed. Come on, bro. I'm closer to the rim. The fuck he blocked that? They always got a double team me, though. They can't ever got down guard me one on one, but they know I'm scoring. Slams it down. Big finish. See how he. He by himself and he dunking on me, right? I'm not even guarding B. Soon as I drive to the paint, it's whoever guarding me and a B trying to block my shit. If anything, make him earn it at the charity strike. Alright, set it up. There's the toss. Brooke Lopez. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Not that time. Hill looking for his man. Why would he do that? I just passed it to you. He didn't even get that shit time to process. This nigga. Takes it right the to the fuck? Instant turnover. But they say no foul. Ooh, he teased me a little bit right there. But see, I like that. That's called a great entertainer. Always leaving me on the edge of my seat. To the rim. Alright, they going me now, bro. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Two MB turns and yeah, slams it down. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. Nothing going here on that drive. To Bledsoe. Nothing. 
something going here on that drive. Fires the three. Smothering D. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Oh, Ben Simmons. Man. Three for seven. No doubt about where that's that so scary. He don't even play like that anymore. Really. Add two points to the board. Should okay. hit the that's first shot. Take your lumps and you move on. You don't exactly rob. I don't even give him that way. Defensively to guard a player like that. Simmons with it. Oh, it's good. To Richardson. He bites that man a little bit. Here comes the screen. Flushes down the slam. Late heave to beat the buzzer. We are at halftime. Man, I thought he made that shit. So far, let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports halftime report. Jalen. It's time for the Rose Report at halftime, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. The Bucks dominated this matchup from the opening tip. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Milwaukee Bucks. The 76ers have yet to appear after one half of basketball. At this point, it's all about pride and mental toughness. A comeback is not impossible, but it's also not likely. These are the guys getting buckets for the Philadelphia 76ers. Game track. Rebounds. The Milwaukee Bucks are putting in the kind of effort that doesn't always show up in our top plays. But it can't be said enough how important it is to take control of the boards. That's exactly what this squad has done in this matchup. Player of the half. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in that first half. These are the top plays from the opening half. Number two. Number one. All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. Bucks at the controls. Working the outside. They instantly have. They can't wait to double team me, bro. Here comes the screen. And one. Damn. Damn. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. First one, count it. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Simmons with it. His guy's down by nine. To MB. To Simmons. Fires the three. 
Bro, if he made, I probably would have quit if Ben Simmons made that. And I'm winning. <laughs> Oh, I wish they stopped doing that shit. If you're not going to dunk it, pass that bitch back out. Look at that. And then they get an easy bucket. Defender has to pick him up. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. There you go. With the, why is y'all right there? Get the fuck out the way. And one. Damn. How many times I got to get fouled, bro? It's like they'll let you get fouled like five times. And then you finally go again. And then they'll call it. And you go to the free throw line. I think I only did it yet. twice. But I already got fouled a lot. Or either they just double team the fuck out of the Sixers with four to shoot. Simmons to Richardson. Here's a chance from long range. That's off the side of the rim. No good. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved. With your Come on, bro. Come on, bro. It's some bullshit. But it's no good. And this is where you know you have the offense right where you want them. Every possession, all you see them doing is complaining to the ref, complaining to each other. You're making the game uncomfortable. That's the mark of a good defense. Sound like you talking to me. Talking about complaining to the ref. Bitch, y'all. Yeah, that's good. They really played on me. I do the 97. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Josh Richardson, four out of seven. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. This shit getting repetitive now, bro. To Lopez. The pass set it all up. Yeah, all right. You want to keep it open? I got you. The good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the block in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ball game. Hell no. inside the paint on that one. Some players are just built to absorb the contact. He pretty much dusted that defender off like that was a bug at the park. Here, come look. Look, look, look. Him up. You know what I'm saying? Better make that shit. And he a dunker. He should have went out with the oop. They tried to give me again. Needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving Oh, they go to the paint just fine, though. They ain't got to worry about nobody blocking that shit. One of the most brilliant things we have in this game. That's crazy. Good. Yeah, like, Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here. They stopped me early. They know that was about to be a dunk. Simmons into the front court. His team down nine. To Tobias Harris. Driving right to the basket and draws the foul. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. Ben Simmons at the line for two shots, 56% for his career, and hits the first free throw. Goes two for two at the line. Hill into the front court. His team up by seven. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. And he's going to the free throw line. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. Ben Simmons, he's got two shots coming, hasn't missed yet. Can't 
connect on the first free throw. Second one's good. Splits the pair. To George Hill. Throws it up. Throws it down off the alley you pass. Oh, Jay, no question. There's an unspoken. We going all the way. On the same wave Championship. Wave. And how about this? Sometimes a bad pass is a great pass when you have somebody as athletic as that that can catch that anywhere and slam it down. Substitution being made in this one. Number 13. Brunson to Richardson. That's good, dude. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. First one goes down. For the Milwaukee Bucks, number 41, Nikola Miritich. And number 17. Able to convert on both free throws. Giannis in control of the basketball. His team on top by eight. Here comes the screen. And he's fouled. Nice move that time, and he's going to the line for two. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. Giannis Adetokounmpo, a couple of free throws on the way. He's perfect from the line so far. Knocks down the first. And gets both to drop at the line. Brunson to Allen. Nothing going here on that drive. The Bucks clear the rebound. Ideta Kunbo to Matthews. Ideta Kunbo pass to the rim. Flushes down the slam. See, Ed, that's what I love. You don't need to conserve your energy. You attack that rim with ferocity. You always set the tone. Here comes the screen. 20 footer at the buzzer. Josh Richardson with that shot. He's five for eight. Long key from three quarters court. There's the buzzer. Yeah, he almost made it. Complete. The Bucks with the lead.
It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. In the front court comes Simmons. His guys trail by 10. Put me in the game, coach. Ciao. We got Get you on. Oh, that should have went to me. Not big finish. Full head of steam that time. Man, I've seen this kid play with some grown men prior to making it to the league. As my old friend would say, same pan, same grace. To Simmons. Has a look. Deep two there. Won't go. And one. And one. Creates his own shot there. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Right time, right player. Can't teach height. Joel Embiid looking good. Four for five. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. <laughs> Those natural born leaders. They know once I find that open, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going up, bro. Give me that. Uh oh, we ain't going there. Splash. Huh. Oh, okay. Give me three then. I hate this free throw system. Yeah, I gotta change that on and off. It's like, it's just weird. I'd rather just shoot the button, shoot with the button, and you know, it's like this John, you gotta tap X. What the? F I think they shot that for it. Two for three on this trip. Simmons to MB. Oh, you've got to get that one to go. Joel Embiid. He's now shooting five for seven. And this is where I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. Joel Embiid oh. swats it. Don't stay I hate the him. animation, bro. It's always a block. Simmons to Brunson. I could dunk on this bitch ass. Plays it up and in. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Al Horford. See, the now they bullshit me, bro. Message on that one, Ed. Philadelphia with the basketball. To MB. From the outside, no good. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and the refs are calling it. Keep being physical. Keep knocking. Can I hit a three, man? What the fuck? He hit that bullshit. I know that name, Brunson. Did you see the boy? I know that ain't who I think it is. So much space. I did. They got Brunson on Philly though. There you go. You gotta come help. Let's see if my teammates help. Look at that shit. They be trying to have you on scoring drops. These niggas just keep scoring and shit like they really something. Yeah, I'm mean, sorry as a bitch. Look at that. Help. Help. Al Hor either Al Horford or Embiid gonna help. Yeah, I'm going to bitch it, bro. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Eric Bledsoe. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched the epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. 
MB to Horford. Five on the shot clock for Philadelphia. Simmons with a shot. That won't go. Oh. Very close, Jay. Oh, boy. Ain't that Ilya Sova? I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was going to fall. Ain't heard that name in a minute. Pretty sure ain't in the lead no more. Ursan Ilya Sova at the line for two shots. For his career, 77% at the line. And he connects on the first free throw. Two for two on that trip. Here's Simmons with it up top. The deficit now up to a dozen. Two MB. Simmons. Fine to shoot. Two MB. From long range. That's how you defend. That big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Snared by MB. Let's it fly from long range. That's off the side of the rim. Short. Look at that help. He got to help every time. Screen coming. Another chance. The Bucks claim victory as they win this one handily. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. It's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Bucks put one in the win column with a solid performance. And the way they attacked the rim was outstanding. Not only is the dunk a high percentage shot, it's also a great way to test the confidence of the defense. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Milwaukee Bucks. The 76ers didn't lose big, but it wasn't exactly close either. I'm sure they can't help but feel frustrated with the result, but they can't let that feeling linger. Sooner than later, they need to start thinking about the next matchup. Game stats. Look at the presentation, bro. Player of the game. When you see these highlights, it's easy to see how this guy earned the award. His impact on the game wasn't lost on anyone. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. Top plays, and we've got three of them for you. Number two. Number Same play one. All of them oops. <laughs> the fuck? Here's what's coming up for the Milwaukee Bucks. 
On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time. I thought that said shit, but it said I forgot all those guys hit. But it got the S at the end of guys, and then it got hit right after that. It looked like shit. I'm far away from the screen. Well, who am I talking to? This nigga. I had to get arrogant with that response because I don't know who the fuck I'm texting. This nigga telling me some bullshit right now. So we got the Timberwolves. Let's get it. Got the white and green joints. Bro, so why they keep putting me in the 11s, bro? Let me change my clothes. I thought I don't wear the 11s for home and away. Why they keep them? I'm only wearing them. Fuck. Y'all need to get y'all shit together, bro. You just showed me in the twos, but then when it's time to pick my jersey, 
you got me in the damn the same 11s I've been wearing the whole season. I'm tired of having to click a tab, then click that tab, and then go to that. Bro, y'all should have all that shit in the open. Look at that. Jordan 2s is my away color. And they can just keep putting me in these shits right here. Fuck it. I'm going to switch that shoot in. I'm tired of looking at them. I mean, I got them in real life, but damn. Can I wear some of the fuck? Like they only put me in the damn 11s, bro. Like only thought I could upgrade no more. I got hella points, though. What the? Oh, no, nah, I ain't trying to change this guy. Hell, man. Oh, yeah, man. Everything is messed up. Should be able to unlock something else. That's why we need a new game. What y'all waiting on, EA? You see everybody hype for this college football about to drop. Where the basketball at? I don't want to play football all day. Oh shit. Them tools look crazy. Them tools look crazy. What the fuck? The fuck? I like the green ones right here too, though. I might need to wear these shit. What the fuck? Let me wear the yellow. Them joints look crazy. Yeah, them two is crazy. It is NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. We're at Target Center in downtown Minneapolis. Tonight, it'll be the Minnesota Timberwolves taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. The opening tip won by the Timberwolves as we get rolling from Target Center. Flushes down the slam. Jay, that's a strong connection. And it's always about the play before the play. Look how the eyesight was able to connect between two players. We call that an eyesight contract. Because when you have a contract that's signed, sealed, and then delivered like that, that's how great plays are made. Deep left corner, Matthews. What the hell? They were telling me, but that was stupid. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Teague with it up top. He'll run the offense. DiVincenzo to Teague. Here comes the screen. 
Bell to Teague. The Wolves down to four in the shot clock. Teague, his first effort off the mark. The Bucks at the controls. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. But it won't go down. Yeah. Jeff T. That boy got the podcast popping. PNRs. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Turns and slams it down. That's called a grown man play, Ed. Someone's trying to get featured on Sports Center tonight. T with the basketball. Looking to make something happen to Wiggins. To Wiggins. Giannis Adetokounmpo with the block. Oh, he blocked that with authority. To Adetokounmpo. The pass set it all up. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Teague with it up top. Down two. DiVincenzo to Towns, down low. Nice pace, sets it up and slams it down. And no emotion, just that ice cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. To Lopez. Two for two. That's what you want. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Teague with the basketball. They trail by two. To Towns. Bell. To Towns. Oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Okay, they're lucky they get the ball back. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. And he buries it. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Basketball. I did a Kumbo. Screen coming. Sets him up. Down. Come on, bro. By the Timberwolves. It's early. I'm starting to act like 2K, man. I'm going to keep saying this. Good job, Steve. Towns. Driving right to the basket. To Towns. I just left him open and ran down here to guard my dude. But the offense, but the defense, you can't afford to collapse off that penetration. I'd rather a team take a tough two. Bro, I cannot hit it, bro. I be hitting threes in live run, but I cannot hit a three in my court. Napier with the basketball leads three, and that's my jet. Boy, it might be over with now. Shit. I think that was just an objective for 24 hours. I did not hit a three on my. Two for three now here in the first. Old school equals high percentage. To Matthews. And counted at the rim. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Napier with the basketball. Up by three. Down low towns. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points.
Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Into the game for the Timberwolves. Number five, Corking J. Bledsoe with it up top. Counting down towards a minute to play here in a very tight opening quarter. Gorgie Jang able to recover with the block. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Timberwolves have the basketball. They get it down for Towns. I like when, when I help, that yeah, shit do not matter, huh? This has been a good first quarter for him so far. That wasn't an easy shot, but he was able to knock it down. They double team me, though. My shit get blocked. Here comes the screen. Look at that. They double team me every time. I don't even got that many points for you to be double teaming me every damn play, bro. Shot clock turned off as they get a chance to build their lead. The fuck they call? I thought this nigga stepped out of bounds. And he adds the free throw. Oh, man. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. That's it for the first quarter. It's the Timberwolves in front. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Bucks at the controls. Bloods up. Knocks it down from mid-range. I don't know what the point of you having a scouting report is if you don't utilize it. You're allowing him to get to positions on the floor where you know he feels most comfortable. Make it a challenge for him by making him do something uncomfortable. Runner here. Won't go. Hill into the front court. Down six. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. T. Now a steal by Milwaukee. And that one. Let me see their roster, bro. They had Andrew Wiggins. They had Zach Levine. I thought they had Zach Levine. Jeff Chi, Andrew Wiggins, Robert Covington, Barnley. Cat, Dante DiVincenzo, Shabazz Napier. I ain't heard that name. Lou Luol Dang. Hey, look, this is a new wave. If a young cat catches you sleeping on the wrong night, it's definitely going to get a million plus views the next day. Covington to Wiggins. To T. Has a look. Deep two there, won't go. It's easy, force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game of the scouting report. Tough 
shot and you got down one three point play no foul no doubt about where that one was headed Teague with it up top down just a couple four three well defended Covington's a tough matchup Bucks at the controls Get in there. Lamp goes down. Well, that shit would have rolled out on 2K. Ooh, oh, ooh, off the side of the ring. I know that. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Wiggins to T. Nice pass to set things up. Ah, oh, you've got to get that one to go. To Matthews. Get in spot. To Lopez. Robin Lopez. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. Oh, this one they had Robin and Brook Lopez. Even. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. T to Covington. Why you should cut, bro? Five on the shot clock for Milwaukee. Giannis for two. Wide open look. Oh my rebound. Jeff T got the rebound over me. That's crazy. Wide open. Take your time. To T. Yes. Nah, you're not good. He is shooting well. He's made two thirds of his shot. That's why I say this shit needs a lot of 18 defense. Flushes <laughs> down the slam. That's play of the game. The ladder on that one. Well, the question is how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. Why am I shit freezing in my career? Like, it ain't no type of internet being used. That's the game. That ain't even no internet game. Pass it, bro. You better make that shit. Three at the buzzer. Everything going right so far as they've extended the lead. First half in the books. The Bucks with the lead. Thanks, Ed. Let's get right into the action here. The Bucks have a comfortable lead at the halfway mark. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Milwaukee Bucks. The Timberwolves are down at halftime and in need of some momentum. Of course, they still have two quarters to turn things around, but it won't happen without making some adjustments. Have a look at the leading scores for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Game track. Points in the paint. The Minnesota Timberwolves were non-existent in the paint defensively through the first two quarters. You can't give up easy points and expect to have success. player of the half I'm ready to skip ahead and just get this guy player of the game you can tell he's on his way to a special game here's our top plays from the first half number two Number one. 
And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. And see, see you again after the game. Bledsoe with the basketball. The lead stands at nine. Oh! Yes! And a foul! He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably gonna take some yeah, do that shit again, yeah. But still Watch that shit, nigga. The shot and getting a crack at the extra point. The hell you the horn, Jeff T. Like little margin for error. The most important thing a shooter can do is continue to shoot. The defense is always going to give great effort, but it's more of your psyche that oh, oh, out there looking like the Kimbe Matumba. See, they get the same animation for everybody, bro. That shit not happening for everybody. I'm dunking on cat bitch ass. Maybe a B block my shit, but come on, bro. Cat. He getting yelled on. Though. From somebody who loved to score a lot himself. Defensively, if you are guarding me in a parallel position, I can have whatever I want when I want. You have Man, to what the fuck? Man, that nigga wide open, bro. Nigga just pops out of nowhere and steals it. Come on, man. That's the bullshit. Look at this, bro. Make him go towards his weak hand and then contest that shot. Won't go down. Defenders lucky he wasn't called. Milwaukee with the basketball. That's a foul. I'm on the ground, bro. You not blocking the ball and then I'm on the ground like that. It's a fucking foul. Just incredible timing on that swap. It goes down. Bodies be on bullshit. On that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Somebody come to that bitch. To Bledsoe. Niggas just stood still. I did a Kumbo. Shot clock winding down. Get in there. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. You know, and people don't understand. Tough shots are practiced every single day. With all these different contraptions out there to contest your shot, guys shoot 500 made shots a day. This is the new norm. That's some bullshit, bro. The fuck is going on, man? Let me replay that. Because I just lost the ball. When I finally get open, it's like they still blocking my shot, bro. What the fuck going on? What's up with these computers, bro? They do whatever they want to do. Look at this shit. Got past them. About to dunk it. What happens? Oh, my gosh. You telling me? Oh my gosh, bro. All right, that's a foul, bro. It's not a foul. His hand is on his hand, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Three of five, sixty percent shooting from the field. This is basketball one on one. Play inside out. Give the big man the ball, and the rest of the court will open up. That was an easy lay. No, ain't nobody stepping up blocking this shit, though. Soon as I drive, somebody stepping up and blocking my shit. I'm on the ground. No foul. Watching it happen in person. Lob 
Bobs it up. <laughs> that was supposed to have been the honest. Oh, can't connect from inside. Oh, to shoot that. Get the ball. Oh, my. Here's Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. <laughs> Shot in here, bro. He's five for eight. What the fuck? Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Slams it down. Showing you why you're going to be playing with play niggas like, best of the best. like, I don't know a hoop or something. You know what I'm saying? Teague with it up top. The margin standing now at seven. Wiggins to Teague. Steal! Oh, block! Nice. This nigga made it. Man down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Cut to the rim, nigga! Both of y'all in the paint, bro. Fuck it. Three in the key. I knew that shit was about to happen. This nigga just stood there like a real human. We have both squads. They ain't no computer shit. A human did that, ain't They be doing that shit in the live run. Oh, you ain't gonna pass the ball? Let me just stand in the paint. Get three seconds. I don't know computer shit right there. That's probably why my shit keep lagging. Shit keep freezing at a certain point. Get y'all fucking with my damn game? This nigga stopped guarding his dude. Right now. I think we're we about to move. Well, Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. Woo! This rookie is a high flyer. He brings that kind of pro am vibe to the NBA, and it's fun to watch. Here comes the screen. Wiggins up against the Spaniard. Nothing going here on that drive to Wiggins. Five to shoot for Minnesota. Wiggins, short jumper off the mark. Nothing going here on that drive to Matthews from long range, and the rebound taken in by T. It's Minnesota basketball. Teague to Wiggins. Probing the defense. The Wolves down to four on the shot clock. Knocks it down from mid-range. Might have had an extra dribble or two there. But he got what the, the fuck is this timeout button? Why I got to keep hitting the start to call a timeout? Bro, I did not pass it. See, they tried to get me again. They know I ain't passing all the way down there. This is petty, bro. Fuck wrong with y'all. Millions of views, and I'm really looking forward to this fourth quarter because the first three have lived up to the bill. And that one is out. I know you ain't just do that. Let's give him the free throw. That's crazy. They just gave him the free throw, but he ain't have to do nothing. Nigga fouled him. And he got three! Don't sell me back in and we lose. That's some bullshit right there. They just did it too. Hell, across the timeline, the deficit is six. Gasol. 
Man, I'm tired of that shit. They just jump in front of this shit, bro. When the nigga wide open, that's an easy pass. Then they just jump in front of this shit. They will still score. Here comes the screen. Tosses. No, it's a turnover. Yeah, I should have known. They be hating on that court. What the fuck? Hold up. Let me go back and look. Oh, I thought he was cross court. Divincenzo. Won't go. To Hill. Great feet and finishes strong. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. Napier with the basketball. They lead it. Four point game. To DiVincenzo. Cleans it up. Offensive board. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Scores. Good concentration. As my mother would say to the defender A for effort, F for results. To George Hill. Not Bruce. Man. Not afraid to mix it up. <laughs> I did. Yeah, they want me to lose, bro. This shit is crazy. Give him two points. High percentage. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Let me do that same shit. They're going to call a foul on me. And they be green under their foot where it's supposed to be a steal. They automatically call a foul. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than it was defense. Yeah, they want me to do it. This is bullshit, bro. To DiVincenzo. And too much. Told you. As soon as I start reaching for some shades of fire. Fight to shoot for Minnesota. Has a look. Napier's shot won't fall. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow through to be cut short, which made him short on the shot. They finally made it through. On the catch and shoot, he showed that he had great chemistry with his teammates on that shot. Keep getting him good looks, and the one will just keep scoring. That ain't a steal? Oh, man. They on bullshit, for real. They acting like I'm playing the Timberwolves that got Anthony Edwards on. I'm playing these sorry-ass niggas. Look at that bullshit. Well, it was no point of me hitting the three because they got it right back. You can tell this shit, Reed. They got this shit right back, bro. So my three don't even count. Shoulders are square to the basket. That's no longer the case in today's game. These guys are off balance. They're moving different ways, yet they still have extreme shot making ability. Beyond the arc for three, shakes free and hits. Look, the reality is some players have it and some players don't. There's a reason why they call them the one. Napier with the basketball leads five. Missed it. They weren't going to give that to him. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like his mere presence in the paint was enough to make the offensive player miss the shot before he even got off the ground. Yes, it drops. A little drama on that one. And a whistle. Damn, I'm trying to follow the nigga. I didn't waste like five, six seconds. Damn. Oh, yeah. First one goes down. Two for.
for a two on that trip. Cheap uh, shit, bro. Straight on three, at the buzzer, it's a victory for the Timberwolves, as they take care of business at home. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA. See y'all next time. Jalen Rose, signing out. Yeah, signing out, bitch. Fuck that. I'm gone, man. I'm signing out for real.